ITB Berlin and Now mit dem Verband der Veranstaltungsorganisatoren. Nicht vergessen, bei Slido können Sie als Zuschauer direkt Kontakt aufnehmen mit den Experten. Wir haben ein virtuelles Café eingerichtet und dort können Sie chatten und Ihre Fragen nochmal loswerden. Jetzt kommen wir zu einem echten Highlight, zu einer Weltpremiere. Es wird gleich der Event Carbon Calculator vorgestellt, der Carbon Footprints messen kann. Und nicht nur das, unsere nächsten Referenten zeigen, wie Meetings die globale Nachhaltigkeit vorantreiben können. Stichwort grünere Weiden. Dazu mehr jetzt von Mitbegründer Future Chain und der Gründerin von Plan A. Herzlich willkommen an Jubimila Jordanova und Felix Runde. Thank you, Mario. Thank you so much. It's really amazing to be here on stage, live, on set at Messe Berlin. Um, we are excited to share some news, like Mario mentioned. Um, and I'm really happy to be here with Lubo Miller. Uh, more about that later. We will, um, first of all, dive into a few uh, ideas and, and thoughts about the bigger picture. And, um, well, let me share some personal thoughts on that. I've been working in the space between events and science for the last eight, nine years. And looking back at our planning and organizing of events, I often wonder why weren't we faster in adopting you know, climate change as a, as a big topic. I think back to 2012 when the ISO standard on sustainable event management came out. And back then it was a hot topic. It was a sexy topic, but it wasn't the you know, glowing hot iron topic that it is now. And this is actually what we want to talk about today, why this is so relevant and why this year, 2021, needs to count. Um, so let's dive into that. Um, I'm quoting here uh, Antonio Guterres uh, of the U United Nations, who uh, in a report that came out in February, just a couple of weeks ago, um, pointed to the fact that we're not on track to fulfill the Paris Agreement. We're not on track and we're not doing enough. So there's a sense of urgency. That's why 2021 is a make or break year. And I think we're all at that stage of realizing now. And when I say all of us, That includes really now the broad field of decision makers, of organizations, of uh, industry captains. And this is a result of the World Economic Forum Global Risk Report that also came out this year. Um, and it every year rates the uh, assessment of decision makers of the global risks and their importance in terms of the impact and in terms of the likelihood of these existential things to happen. And as you can see here by the big red arrow, um, uh, this is a topic, climate action failure, that's in the top of the you know, likelihood percentage and impact percentage. So this is a great basis for us now to start acting also as an events industry. And we'll get to that in a minute. What, what can be the role of the events industry in really also guiding um, other industries and other businesses towards um, our sustainability goals? Why is it a good year? Um, because we now have the tools. I mentioned the ISO standard. It's been around for some time, but um, we also have a fair amount of guidelines that can be used. We have the numbers. We have ways now to measure on a much more sophisticated level. Uh, we'll talk about carbon uh, management later on. Um, and so this is, a, this is a great time to really um, not just you know, reduce the number of plastic straws that we have at our events or uh, plastic cutlery. It's time for serious action that can be measured and then uh, we can prove to our clients, to our partners, that we're actually making an impact. Why is it important now? So we look at the big picture. Um, we've uh, seen, if you've seen that, uh, a new initiative by the VD, VO uh, on uh, keeping uh, uh, sustainability goals as an industry, as the meetings industry. And I strongly support initiatives like that. I think uh, a goal like uh, becoming a climate neutral industry by 2030 is very important and needs to be followed collectively. So if you haven't checked it out, uh, go to the VDVO website, um, join that cause or join other alliances and uh, become connected, uh, work towards collective action. Um, and this is the main point here, looking back at my own, at my own time as an as a event organizer, we really went forward very individually, you know, created our own guidelines, um, put up our own measurement models. Now it's the time to go in a collective way. We have all these tools that we can apply together. We have measurements that we can you know, measure on a, on a, a collective scale. Um, 
find alliances, join alliances, join together, learn from each other, and uh, this is the way for um, ultimately really having a collective impact. And so, coming to my last slide for now, and a resume, um, it's real, it's bad, it's acute, we know the level of urgency. Um, it's a glowing hot iron topic, like I said before, uh, but there is hope. Um, this is an industry and a community that is valued at a trillion uh, US dollars if you uh, take into account all the, uh, all the areas of the meetings industry. Um, we are a hosting industry that hosts all the other industries. We are a multiplying, a platform industry. And so we have the power as a community and as change makers um, to really take the lead here and push forward. And that's something that gives me hope. Um, and that's something that shows that uh, 2021 can really be a year that counts now. And what also gives me hope is that there's an amazing startup coming out of Berlin, um, Plan A, that just closed its uh, last uh, funding round uh, very successfully and is now aiming to take it to the international stage. And Lubo Miller, this stage is definitely yours. Thank you so much. Let's go into the practicality. I think for all of us here, it's clear that there's a sense of urgency that we all need to adhere to. But on a practical level, what does this mean for the event organizer industry? First of all, there's now new regulations. There's new standards and expectations towards what kind of regulations should you follow and what kind of sustainability levels you should implement on a global scale across all of your uh, events. The second element is that in the coming years, there's the expectation to start reducing these emissions and taking actually steps one after the other to be the sustainability pioneer. And of course, what has been made visible over the last year clearly is that we have a lot of audiences that are asking questions. All these little elements that we have seen in the events industry changing, the little straw uh, changes, the fact that we now don't use any plastic, but actually biodegradable cups, all of these little things are the result of an influence that we have seen from all of the audiences that come to our events. And today I would like to think about what are the options that you have at the moment in terms of responding. We understand that there's urgency, but what is your choice? Of course, you can go into working with consultants. That's an obvious choice and they can go into a lot of nitty gritty details of how you can switch your model from one that is not so focused on sustainability to one that is a pioneering one. The second option is that you go online and you find um, some different calculators that show you the supposedly accurate calculation of the event that you're organizing. And then finally, there's the possibility to take the number that has been given to you from this event calculation and then do offsetting, compensate and just think that this is maybe the end of it. We think a bit differently, and today it's my great honor to be able to share with you that our company, Plan A, is actually releasing a calculator that is specifically dedicated to event organizers in their efforts to start taking action on being more sustainable, being a pioneer in their industry, and being the ones that are tangibly reducing emissions on event per event basis. How do we do this? We have a few steps that we follow for every single industry that we work with. And now we're specifically gonna be working with event organizers on this. First of all, we calculate. These are the calculations behind the emissions done by a full-fledged scientific team that is going to work together with you to understand what elements of the way your event is organized contribute to a negative impact on the planet. The second element is monitoring, understanding the bigger picture and then starting to act on it. With this in mind, what happens next is reduction. Giving these low-hanging fruits as part of your to-do list on how you can start reducing emissions effectively and quickly. And then, of course, compensation. We work with some of the most transparent carbon capture as well as offsetting or companies that allows us to then make sure that you have clear overview of the impact that you're making. And finally, reporting, because all of these different organizations, all of these different sponsors that you work with are standing behind you also because of the commitment that you have made to sustainability and to all the other issues that you're covering within the topic of your event. Our product is a software, but it doesn't come only with the technological solution itself. 
We work together with you to enable you to actually understand why this matters and then start taking steps one after the other. This is not just a result of us assuming that this industry needs to change. We have tested for now multiple years on, in our work with different event organizers on how this calculator can be an effective solution for you. This means that we have taken our chances to work with organizers of tech conferences like the Pirate Summit, uh, big event organizers like BMW Foundation, and of course, St. Gallen Symposium, which is one of the biggest uh, student-led organized, uh, organized uh, conferences, to essentially fine-tune this product and make it useful for you, for anyone that is organizing an event, and tool that is really tangible. It's there to align to the standards, but also it makes it really clear for you on how you can take a stance on sustainability and an effective one that lasts for the future. It's not just a quick fix. You might still wonder after all of these wonderful news about, uh, you know, okay, there's a tool now, but also there's a lot of sense of urgency. Is the urgency that big for you? Maybe you're still wondering why the sustainability even matter. The event industry is every industry. As Felix was saying earlier, actually, if you think about it, every single industry, the tech one, the banking, any kind of sector, fashion even, they are relying on events for their work to become visible. This is how they gather their audiences, how they build their community and how they build their brand. Which means that by you taking a stance, you're actually gonna have not even quadrupled, but tenfold increase in the impact that you could be making. And for yourself, the benefits are numerous. On one hand, you, as an event organizer, are going to be able to inspire your attendees. These are people that are there to learn from you, but also to see something new. We are living in a year that has unfortunately made us feel uh, already, as well as last year, quite uncomfortable with a lot of ways of doing things. And unfortunately, the event industry has been the one that has been impacted very heavily. At the moment, people are looking forward to the event when they can actually meet each other, spend time with each other. And if you take a stance on being the sustainability pioneer, you are going to stand out in most likely an ocean of opportunities that are going to pop up the moment when we're not in lockdown. The second element is about cutting costs. There's this wrong predicament that sustainability is a costly exercise that is only there uh, for those that can afford it. The truth is, is that if it's done well, and if it's done following the science, it leads to cost effectiveness and to reduction in costs. Because sustainability, actually, it's a more minimalistic approach where you can deliver the same value, but with less resources. And then finally, it's about boosting your brand. As event organizers, there's a lot of elements of trust and also a lot of continuity in the way people relate to your work. This can be boosted significantly by you positioning yourself as the ones that actually understand sustainability. You might wonder who are we to speak about this topic. Um, there's the obvious answer that was also mentioned by Felix, it's climate change. Um, I have dedicated my life to working on this topic because I'm personally really concerned with what's ahead of us. And I think it's going to impact not only, not only every single industry, but every single individual on this planet. Having said that, there's also a second reason. Plan A actually has started its journey by organizing events since day one. Up until now, we have collected uh, and organized events for more than 100, uh, organized more than 100 events, invited and have hosted more than 15,000 people at these events at five geographies. And this has been benefited by the fact that we have understood how impactful events are. We have made also these events really sustainable and that has also benefited the way we've developed the product because we know which elements are the trickiest ones to adapt and to change when you're making an event sustainable. So with this in mind, let's think about the future of events. It might look like this because technology is going there, yes, uh, but we also know that it's still gonna look like this. Even though we might be concerned about the virtual reality becoming one that is mixed with the one that we have here, luckily, today, we're going to go back to these kinds of events and they're just going to have an element that is a lot more virtual. But sustainability is going to be at the core of this. And you, as an event organizer, are going to have the chance to be the one that is driving this agenda and the whole industry if you decide to take a stance now. Let's make 2021 count.